of Bitcoin Hub is off to a rousing start in its second season on the Bitcoin.com podcast network, diving deeply into Bitcoin pioneers over two installments. The current episode features crypto evangelist Jeffrey Tucker, editorial director at the American Institute for Economic Research. In a fast-moving interview exploring his intellectual development and discovery of Bitcoin, Friday, May 11th, Hobb will release a fascinating and compelling discussion with these pages' CEO, Roger Veer, revealing the personal side to the man few have heard. Tying them both together, interestingly enough, is Shapeshift's founder Eric Voorhees revealing. Deeply personal interview with Roger Veer released this Friday, May 11th. Arguably the definitive history of Bitcoin's early years is documented in Brian Patrick et has How Money Got Free. Bitcoin and the Fight for the Future of Finance, One World. Its detailed and cinematic style make for great reading, but more than that it informs. Principles, such as Roger Veer and Eric Voorhees get their due, warts and all. So it's fitting Humans of Bitcoin podcast, a non-technical dive into the real-life world of crypto. Host Matt Aaron would choose Mr. Ed has document to guide his interview of Bitcoin.com CEO, Roger Veer, set for airing Friday, May 11th. Mr. Veer, rhymes with beer, has been interviewed a zillion times, from pasty dudes lowly YouTube channels to giant, worldwide media conglomerates. There seems to be nothing more to learn about Mr. Veer, aside from maybe his investment advice but that can be found, too, elsewhere. Indeed, Mr. Aaron is also an employee of Mr. Veer's, so that makes it doubly hard in terms of entertainment. How to craft a listenable show without coming across as a sycophant or toady. On this score, Mr. Aaron is wildly successful. He asks questions listeners might have been intensely curious about, but never had the chance. Imagine asking a boss about their prison experience and why Mr. Veer was known to advise never enter prison on a Friday. The answers are both hilarious and harrowing. Mr. Aaron then brings in Eric Voorhees of Shapeshift fame, asking about his and Mr. Veer's complicated and at times heroic history. The episode really gets moving as the two weave headlong into the assorted controversies Mr. Veer presently finds himself embroiled. Being personally hacked and then having his person and family threatened, Bitcoin course deviation, whether noobs are really confused about what Bitcoin.com is. How many coins has he lost throughout hacks over the years, why he continues in crypto even though he's financially well off, and even his famous bets. Ultimately he compares his life to a science fiction novel, and this excites Mr. Veer to no end. There's so much more to the episode, and it premieres this Friday, May 11th, here. Jeffrey Tucker's $27,000 bowtie While waiting for the Roger Veer episode, readers are encouraged to click the Hob Current offering with Jeffrey Tucker. He too is well known within the ecosystem and gives of his time generously to all manner of interview formats. Like Mr. Veer he is an easy guest to promote, along with being someone who can draw out answers in an interesting way. The problem, again, is how to make the interview enjoyable for listeners both new to and familiar with Mr. Tucker. Mr. Aaron shines here, again. The hook he uses is how badly Bitcoin back in the day needed an economist to endorse the project. It had code slingers and tech geeks. Mr. Tucker gives an air of respectability to crypto. And that starts with his dress, his iconic style, right down to his bow tie. Careful not to turn the discussion into a fashion segment, Mr. Aaron gets the scoop on how Mr. 
Tucker came about his formal dress and it makes for pretty cool listening. From there, the two discuss Mr. Tucker's varied and terribly compelling career prior to being known for Bitcoin and crypto evangelism. His enthusiasm for sound money goes as far back as the early 1980s and lands Mr. Tucker as a research assistant for then-Congressman Ron Paul, who would later run for U.S. president twice. The conversation returns to crypto and Bitcoin with a recounting of just how Mr. Tucker was given his first coins. Back in 2013, Eric Voorhees and cohorts cornered him, demanding he listen to their Bitcoin pitch. They set him up with a wallet and asked he sell them something in return for the decentralized currency. Mr. Tucker offered his famous bow tie, which he pegged at roughly $45. Mr. Voorhees then zapped him three Bitcoin, and Mr. Tucker describes his own acceptance of the transaction as something of a revelation. It was instant. No third party. No onboarding. No minder. Mr. Tucker believed me had been given a vision of the future. Oh, and that three Bitcoin for one bow tie? That's now a $27,000 tie at current prices. Just stop whatever you're doing and click the episode for goodness sake. Who is your favorite Bitcoin crypto pioneer? Share your thoughts in the comments sect. The conversation returns to crypto and Bitcoin with a recounting of just how Mr. Tucker was given his first coins. Back in 2013, Eric Voorhees and cohorts cornered him, demanding he listen to their Bitcoin pitch. They set him up with a wallet and asked he sell them something in return for the decentralized currency. Mr. Tucker offered his famous bow tie, which he pegged at roughly $45. Mr. Voorhees then zapped him three Bitcoin, and Mr. Tucker describes his own acceptance of the transaction as something of a revelation. It was instant. No third party. No onboarding. No minder. Mr. Tucker believed me had been given a vision of the future. Oh, and that three Bitcoin for one bow tie? That's now a $27,000 tie at current prices. Just stop whatever you're doing and click the episode for goodness sake. Who is your favorite Bitcoin crypto pioneer? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for listening to my channel. Please subscribe for get hot news in the world.